Hi friends, good evening. Tier 1 of SSC CGL exam is over and now it's time to begin your preparation for Tier 2. The reason why I'm doing this session is that many of the students on this channel prepare primarily for bank exams. Now this time when a lot of changes happen in SSC CGL in terms of you know the exam cycle becoming more regular, exam happening more frequently, when so everything seems to be coming back on track, more vacancies, plus the change in the pattern, you know, you know about the change in weightage and all reasoning becomes more important and all those things. So that kind of makes many students feel who were primarily preparing for bank exams earlier that they stand a better chance of qualifying SSC CGL. Is it? So yeah, some changes here and there. So the, uh, you know, uh, we get a lot of queries asking, sir, should I take this exam seriously, not seriously, the forms and everything is done. Tier 1 was just qualifying in nature, so many of you have already taken it. But now the real game begins and since SSC uh, CGL is uh, tier 2 is pending and SBI PO is also pending, prelims is about to happen. So many of you are confused about whether you can do it together, uh, would you be left with enough time, can you, you know, can you manage it? So though it's tempting, the question is can you do it together along with SBI PO. So uh, the answer is yes and no, has it become uh, tougher? Has it become easier for bank aspirants? Again, the answer is yes and no. So I'll try and answer it objectively rather than just you know expressing my opinion. So uh, whether it has become easier, yes, in in some ways you can say that we don't know the new pattern, uh, the difficulty level, the questions and all. But the syllabus, as far as the syllabus is concerned, there is no major change. The change is that the weightage of reasoning has gone up, and reasoning in CGL has not been much of a challenge. Um, I mean ever so it's like quite manageable and that makes many students feel that it's become easier that way yes but has the syllabus of the major problem changed what is the major problem quantitative aptitude no it has not changed there's some change in the syllabus some simple things like probability and all it's a simple probability questions that has changed but uh, not much of a change so the problem remains that you'll still need to do all those things so uh, I would try and just show you the syllabus of both the exams quickly and show you how one preparation leading to another uh, can be managed and then it's up to you to decide whether this makes sense for you to take this up seriously along with timelines and everything and will help you make a decision. So let's just look at this first. Let me first quickly show you the syllabus of quantitative aptitude and data interpretation in bank exams. So this is broadly the syllabus. I'm talking about quant here. Reasoning as I said is not much of a challenge. It's like quite manageable in SSC here. And the same can be said about English as well. It's very scoring, but comparatively easier. The major problem here is quantitative aptitude. So I'm just comparing the syllabus of quantitative aptitude and data interpretation of the two exams. So I'm assuming that you are going in this direction. You know about bank PO exams and you're moving towards SSCGL. You want to move towards SSCGL, right? So that's the assumption. As you're aware, this is the major portion in bank PO exams, when bank PO, even bank clerk exams. So this comprises the majority of the question, 70-80% would be your preparation of arithmetic TI. This is important for prelims, not as much for the main exam as you are aware again and this hardly appears. So yes, you are expected to do it but hardly any questions appears from this. So if you talk about bank exams, this is the crux of your preparation, arithmetic and data interpretation. You get the bulk of questions from here. This is the part that's challenging, this is the part that's the most time consuming and this is the part that sees you through, right? You are aware of that. Now let us look at the SSC CGL syllabus. So this is the syllabus. Now if you look at this, there are many areas here. Arithmetic DI obviously is there. Number system, which hardly appears in bank PO, I mean hardly is there. Just one question here and there is one part of it. Algebra, it doesn't appear in bank PO. You know, some application somewhere, one question, not more than that, no algebra practically in bank PO exams, it's there. Trigonometry is absent in bank PO, it's there. Geometry mensuration, geometry doesn't appear in bank PO. Mensuration, you know, an odd question at times. But practically you can say that all this here for all practical purposes is absent in bank PO exams and it is more than 50% of SSC CGL quant syllabus, fine. So if you have to, you know, roughly assign a weight for it, though the pattern is expected to change, so we don't know what's going to happen. But uh, conventionally it has been like that, that this would be like 40 to 50% fine and out of this 40 50 around 10 percent would be and the rest would be arithmetic questions very basic questions this would be i uh, let's say again around 10 12 percent around 10 percent around 10 percent and these two together would be around 25 percent 25 35 45 55 and this is around 45 it makes this as 100 and a couple of questions here and there but this roughly is the pattern now if you look at this 
if you have done this and you're good at this which is required invariably to do well in any bank exam you take care of this arithmetic ndi broadly you know? the kind of questions that appear in this yeah it's a little different you are expected to do all the previous questions and all which you should do in case of sscgl because all the papers are in public domain and you can access them and should solve everything this is true for any ssc exam right so yes this is very manageable if you have done this thoroughly this would not be a problem for you fine di some different kind of questions some statistics but again that's like quite manageable and quite manageable you are expected to do questions quickly as compared to bank exams especially the main exam even in tier 2 exam of sccgl but tier 2 pattern is changing this time we don't know but what we can definitely say is that this part is not going to trouble any bank aspirant when this would be around i would say 45% if you look at the data of the last few years but the challenge would be this you have not done any of this most of this you have not done as a bank aspirant many of these things you must have studied in your school and all but you have not done in your preparation of bank po fine so this is fine but what about this 55% now i would say that this does not have things that you have not studied previously for example this geometry mensuration you must have studied at some stage trigonometry maybe not if you left uh, your maths after 10th standard so this kind of trigonometry you might not have studied algebra is not very complex algebra this is mostly identities but yes they get deep into it so many of these questions are such that if you give them to a cat aspirant he or she would not be able to solve them because of the lack of prior knowledge so ssc there's a peculiarity that they tend to repeat questions now even uh, in bank exams this might happen but they don't do it these days very often moreover you don't have the paper in bank exams in ssc you do have the paper so yes all these sections numbers ye everything is they repeat the questions and that is the reason that if you look at the ssc exams they tend to become a little easier with familiarity so if you are familiar if i give you an ssc paper as a bank aspirant today you will do well here i am sure you will do well here but you might struggle in all this why because you might not have done this for a long time but if you ask me if this is tough to manage all these things number system definitely not algebra identities hain you can manage it but familiarity would be very important number system algebra trigonometry geometry i mean all these things are manageable so they have been an odd tough paper in recent past i think 2017 was a tough paper everything was tough in that paper compared to ssc standards but it's not that it's not manageable it's not unmanageable just that you will need familiarity it's not that you have done all this right and you can you know you can be expected to crack all this no you this probably yes mostly yes but no you will falter here there will be a problem so to take care of this 55% you will no need to put in that extra effort i hope you got the point let's come back to our original question now question was has ssc cgl become easier for bank aspirants again i would say the same thing it has not become easier or tougher for bank aspirant it remains the same it has changed for everyone but yes since the weightage of reasoning has increased it has probably become a little more probable for the bank aspirants with their existing preparation after putting in more preparation especially in quant to crack the exam i'll put it this way fine you still need to do all these topics and these topics are manageable now the question would be and you know before getting into it i would say that you know when you look at two exams say let's talk about three exams cat bank exams say sbi po and ssc cgl now one aspirant preparing for any of one of these exams trying to take the other two would definitely falter until unless the person tweaks the preparation so somebody is you know, say very good at cracking cat you give him that bank paper or sscgl paper he will not do very well why because there are those typical kind of questions that might be easy but the person would not be able to crack because of his or her lack of familiarity it happens so don't think it's easier it's tougher fine i'll i'll you know give you an example if you talk about bank exams what is the cut off typically if you talk about quant section typically 20 25 out of 60 would be a very good score and even 15 at times is a good score what is a good score in tier 2 cgl paper maths what is the good score people get even 200 out of 200 170 180 is a norm many good students get a 190 if it is so tough why do people get that kind of scores so it is all relative people get that kind of scores because though the topics are more they can be mastered there is a lot of repetition of questions questions come on a pattern whereas in bank exams you are expected to crack the problems in ssc cgl 
If you talk about the new types, there are hardly any new types. They appeared once in 2017 and the cutoffs went down. Fine. So, I mean, I'm talking about perception. So, because many of the students think SS serial is not their cup of tea. It's very difficult. I'm telling you, you give the bank paper to one of the toppers of SS serial without any prior preparation. If the person is smart, he or she can master anything. But without any prior preparation, you give SBI PO mains paper to a SS serial aspirant. Even he or she would struggle. Why? Because of lack of familiarity. The same is true here. Fine. SSC CGL, what is tougher? It's not the paper. It's the competition because of the less number of vacancies, because of the fewer vacancies. That is the thing. Otherwise, if you are thinking as a bank aspirant, can I manage this advanced maths? It's called advanced maths, the portion that I just showed to you in the last slide. Fine. Can I manage this? Yes, of course you can manage. If you can manage arithmetic, yeah, you can manage this as well. And most of these questions are on a set pattern. You'll need to give it time. And you need to find that time. Now, the good thing here would be since you have an SBI PO also coming up, this tier 2 exam is expected to happen after SBI PO means. I mean, I don't have the exact dates, but yes, it is expected to be like that. So, your preparation for SBI PO is definitely going to hold you in good stead for tier 2. And I believe you'll get a, I don't know, a month, maybe a couple of months before the tier 2 exam happens. And this should be enough to make you feel confident about these things. So, no harm taking a chance. If you believe, you would want to appear for that as well. Tier 1 has happened. It's gone, done and dusted. You do not have to think about it. It's just qualifying. So, if you make the cut, there is a solid chance that you do well in the tier 2 exam. So, I'll put it this way. So, it has not become easier or tougher. It has been manageable. It is still manageable. Because the increased weightage of reasoning, you might stand a better chance as compared to last year. And the number of vacancies that has increased. So, yes, that also kind of makes a difference. But this advanced match, because of which many people struggle or are afraid of CGL, is not that much of a challenge. It is there. You need to prepare. The way you prepare data interpretation, the way you prepare to crack puzzles, the same way, it's not different. Right. So, just think of it like that. We do a preparatory program for SSC CGL. I'll just pin that in the description. So, let's go through it in case you, some of you were asking, do you prepare students for CGL? Yes, we do. So, yes, you can go through the details as well. Right. So, that was it. I'll wish all the best to all the people appearing for SBIPO prelims. I'll release a session for it tomorrow. Right. So, I'll see you soon. Keep studying, guys. Keep rocking. All the best.